If you've seen any of my recent videos, this guy might be familiar to you. It's a Hewlett Packard 3456A voltmeter. And I'm just going to make a small adjustment. I'm going to change the crystal for one that matches the 50 hertz line frequency that we have here in Australia. If we look at the back of the unit, you see there it's got 50 hertz and 60 hertz. And the 60 hertz is marked and not the 50. That means that it's got the 60 hertz crystal in there. Now I've got another one of these that I bought on eBay which has the 50 hertz crystal in it and the fellow that sold it to me also had a spare 50 hertz crystal so I've got that for pretty cheap. So I'm going to put that in there now. And what that's about is in order to get more accurate readings the analog to digital converter in there can take a a longer or shorter integration period and that, that's defined in terms of the number of power line cycles having the longer integration period helps to for the noise to cancel out average out and also interference from mains frequency gets uh, eliminated if the time is a multiple of the power line cycles I don't know why they haven't you know, this thing's got power coming into it. You know, it could pick up the power line cycles directly from that instead of having a crystal that hopefully matches the power line cycles. So it's, it's a bit strange. This is currently set to 100 power line cycles. You can see it flashing very occasionally. I timed it. It's actually every 3.4 seconds. 3.4 seconds divided by 100 comes out at a 30th of a second so and it should be a 60th of a second if it's set to 60 Hertz I'm not sure what's going on there it's counting 200 power line cycles rather than 100 but you can change it so I can go um, 10 store there and now that's flashing much more often you can go down to one cycle you can go down to a tenth of a cycle 0.1 but you lose a digit when you do that. And you, go, and you can go right down to 0.01 and lose another digit. This has all been running for a few hours, so it's all warmed up. We'll go back to 100 again. So it averages over a longer period. And what I've got going on down here is just an AD584 voltage reference from eBay. Um, and according to its little calibration sticker that came with it, at 10, on the 10 volt setting it should be 10.02 volts. And it's here it's 10 point, sorry, 10.002. Here it's 10.00164. So this is reading a bit lower than what they claim it should be. It started off at about 157 and it's warmed up to that. So I just want to see if that looks any different when I've changed the crystal. So uh, yeah, to do that I have to take the bottom off I believe, so I'll do that now. It's just one screw over there. Now, I've never had this open before, I've had it for about four years but I've never opened it. So, as far as I know the crystal should be visible here, but I don't see it. Not seeing it. I guess it's not there. Maybe it is on top. I thought it was on the bottom. I'll just lift this as well. Very nice inside, isn't it? Gas discharge tube there for input protection. No, oh, there we go. There's the crystal. So I'll swap it out. These crystals are really weird ass frequencies. You, you can't find them in standard stocks. You have to get them made. It's visible. I can't read it from here. But let's see if we can read the other one. I'll put them on the screen, the, the values for these things. Here's a new one. Uh, 
very nice and snug in there. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Like nice gold wiring. We'll close it up. I don't want to muck around with it just yet. Have a closer look at this another time. But it is my best calibrated meter, I believe. So I don't want to mess with it. Okay, still seems to work. Let's put this back in. By default, it power on, it's doing 10 power line cycles. So we'll go to 100 again. And 100 times 50 hertz should be 2 seconds, shouldn't it? And it's not. And we'll go to six digits so it's a bit lower than what it was before because i'll time 10 of those cycles seven ten four that was 40 seconds yeah 40 seconds divided by 10 counts is uh four seconds each yeah so again it's counting at 25 hertz not 50 know what the manual says so hopefully that gets rid of a bit of a power line interference in measurements who knows anyway thought you might find that interesting uh, yeah, give it a like if you did and uh, catch you later just after I turn off the camera it started going pretty stupid look at those counts there it's going way up you yeah, see it's jumping up a bit that's what's going on there yeah this is not as consistent as it was for the other crystal much more inconsistent than it was with the other crystal. Or I've buggered up something. Maybe it didn't like being opened. We just got diggy connections. Let's try a different cable. They still wobble a lot, but they don't seem as they still seem to be making good contact. So I don't know. Put that down to uh, sloppy, crappy banana plugs. Catch you later.